Uh, I'm Dylan Gillespie. I play right striker and I'm from Montana. And why have you decided to come onto the Biasa program? Um, it's really the only one that kind of actually is geared towards like a professional contract like every other college back in America. It's pretty rough to get signed to anywhere. So it's, uh, it's definitely the best opportunity for anybody who wants to go professional. Joey and Christian, Naki all signed. That's three players in two years. And that's almost as impressive as Akron back in the States. And they're like number one. So that's it's pretty impressive. So the exposure that you get through being a student on this program and opportunities, yeah. different scouts looking at you and that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, I mean like, like uh, we all dream about playing like Blackburns, like IX and stuff like that. Yeah. And here we actually get to do it. So it's kind of a once in a lifetime experience because I mean we're never really going to get that back in the states to showcase games and also kind of the potential to go professional. But I mean you got to take what you can get out of the program because I mean it's only going to give you as much as you put in. The level of coaching, how would you compare those to what you were used to back home before you came to on the program? Um, I've been to two other academies before this. I've had something like 18 coaches. Uh, Die is personally my favorite. He's absolutely insanely gifted at coaching. So Die Jones was that? Yeah, yeah. Die is very good at coaching. <laughs> but uh, also Henry's a great coach. He's very technical, kind of he kind of helps us with uh, that kind of thing. Banks, yeah, I mean, all the coaches here are very well qualified, and I mean, I actually have uh, some qualifications for assessing that because I've had quite a few coaches in my time, but yeah, definitely the best coaching staff I've had in three academies. Fantastic, that's good to hear. And you, you mentioned about the differences. They, they all sort of show you different parts of the game, I guess. You get a more rounded yeah. experience. Die definitely kind of shows you the more tactical side of the game. It's really blunt and I like that. It doesn't really pans your foot around with anything. Yeah. Uh, Gets to the point. Yeah, Henry makes us enjoy the game. He, he teaches us kind of that side of it. Uh, and then Ian Lawrence is just kind of... You can all, we can all tell he's a little bit of a step above us because I mean, whenever he demonstrates a drill, it's just always done perfectly and stuff like yeah. that. So he's kind of he's kind of like a younger version of all the coaches, and it's kind of nice to kind of have that connection with the, with the coach. So nice, so someone closer to your own peer group. Yeah, age. so I mean, we can actually understand what he's saying and stuff like that. So yeah. So you've spoken a lot about the football, Dylan. How about the academic side of the program? Um, it's probably one of the better parts of it because it kind of gives you a degree just in case everything in the football program doesn't work out you still have something to fall back on so it's definitely one of the pluses to being here and what is the degree that you study uh, international marketing does it take up a lot of your time the academic program the football how, how what's the balance of time ratio how does um, it work? it's a lot different than high school like you have like a big project that you know about for two to three months and it's just kind of difficult to know how to do that because a lot of times anything in high school you can do in like one night and that's just not going to happen here you gotta gotta make sure you budget your time throughout the semester on a big project because if you don't get that big project done then your grades fall and it just kind of screws up everything <laughs> I mean it's just an unneeded level of stress if you're trying to play well football yeah so you're sort of forced to manage your time on the academics so that you can relax and enjoy the football side Yeah, of it. I mean, it's definitely, it, it falls into place if you have your academics. But academics has to come first or else everything on the field is just unconfident. Um, so Dawn has helped you out with the fitness and nutrition plan? Yeah, Dawn's fitness is different from any I've ever had. <laughs> Here, Dawn has us do Pilates and that kind of screws with all of us because we have no idea how she does it. <laughs> so giving your bodies a different sort of workout to what you're used to? Yeah, it's crazy. I, she works muscles I didn't know were there. <laughs> and you said she was helping you with the nutrition side of things as well? Yeah, she has a nutrition plan. She's kind of a lot of whole grain meat, or a lot of whole grain, uh, just kind of a lot of protein, carbohydrates, stuff like that, like what to eat, when to eat it. And it works really well. I'm feeling a lot better lately. Where do you see yourself going once you finish your time with Wayasa? I mean, there's uh, quite a few different options. It's, uh, I don't know, I mean, hopefully I sign, but I mean, everyone here wants to sign, so I'm still kind of banking on that dream. But uh, 
I coach back in the States, so I'm kind of looking to set up my own academy back there because it's uh, there's not really a professionally run academy in Montana. We're pretty much a dry spot for the sport, and it's, uh, I don't know, it just kind of hits a personal nerve, but yeah, the kids back there really like it. They just haven't been given the opportunity, so if at all possible, I'd like to go back and give them the same opportunity I had. Great stuff with the knowledge that you've had from your international business degree to help you set it up as a business over there, I guess. Yep. And give a bit back to your hometown. Mm -hmm. And the coaching license I got here, that's, uh, that's another good thing. So you, you they, did Royasa put you through the coaching license? How did that? How did you do that? Uh, yeah, I went through the coaching license. Uh, we got assessed by Leeds Matt staff. We went through a child protection thing, but... Yeah, you kind of get to see the cultural, di like uh, the cultural differences in the coaching styles, mm. and uh, yeah, it's it, they are different. <laughs> Winning is definitely taken differently over here. Americans hate to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas here, it's you don't have to win. It's just more about your yeah, development and how you perform. It's more encouragement and stuff like that. In America, it's just if you're not good enough, there's twenty other kids that can fill your spot. So I mean. It's not that we like to win more than we just don't like to be cut. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's a different mentality over here, but I'm glad I got to see it.